Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am filming in my room today. I don't know why I've never filmed here before because the ambiance is just, is just right. I got a candle lit right now. I have like a really cool mirror kind of like just sitting on top of my dresser. I feel like I have like a whole big vanity which my bathroom or recording in the living room is just terrible. I have no space, the lighting keeps changing. I might start filming in here from now on because this is just so comfortable and I just, I like it in here. Anyway, today we are going to do a Pamela Anderson makeup look. As was requested from somebody in the comments, a whole one person, you know that at this stage of my channel, I'm going to do a request based on one person. So we're gonna do that. I had actually been planning to do this for a while. So without further ado, let's get to it. I'm going to do the makeup look that Pamela Anderson sported whenever she was in her better years, when she wasn't full-blown trashy. I want to keep it like young Pamela Anderson today. I'm going to do the smoldering, smoky eye. We're going to do like a nice pinky kind of pearlescent lip. I'm going to put up my hair in the end, uh, you know, do a little tussled updo. Okay, okay, so let's get started. First thing that I'm going to do is, I don't know, what do I do when I first start doing my makeup? Eyes, probably, right? We're gonna do the eyes first. Disclaimer, if you're new to this channel, I do not wear foundation, so none of that will be applied here. So, we're gonna use the trusty Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. Do I recommend this palette? Yeah. Uh, did I buy this myself? No, I received it as a gift, but it has served me well. But I have to admit the black in this palette is very, very pigmented. It's got a little bit of sparkle, which is perfect for the time period we're going for. And so what I like to do with a smoky eye is I like to not take it too seriously, okay? If it start, if it looks kind of crappy at first, you'll blend it out. It'll be all right, okay? So I'm just going to... I'm gonna take the small end of this brush. Could I tell you what this brush is called? No. This is a precision shadow brush. We want precision here. So we're gonna take some of that dark black. It is the only black. Onyx, okay? We're gonna take Onyx and we're just gonna do, we're gonna do a pat. Okay, you see, that's already pretty pigmented. And we're going to do a little bit up here just a little hint of a cat eye, okay? I'm literally just dispersing pigment right now. So if this looks scary, don't be scared, it's fine. So just a little bit there, and then same on the other side. It really, it doesn't have to be perfect right now at all. I stated on this channel before that I like makeup that is a little bit less perfect, that's a little imperfect. In fact, I, I appreciate that. So. Once you've got the color blocked out, get it as pigmented as you prefer, and then just drag it, bring it down a little. Don't go too crazy. Just try and get it, bring it down onto your lower lash line. And then we're gonna blend it out later. I look so crazy right now, it's so funny. And then we're gonna go and take a little bit of white. Now it's going to turn this color, white is going to turn this into a kind of grayish metallic color and you want that. So this color, cinder or glacier, it's white. It's the whitest of the palette, okay? <laughs> really try and load it up and go in to your duct first. or in the corner of your eye first, okay? Disperse as much of that white as you can, and then we'll, we'll blend it. So already we got like a nice playboy, porn starry kind of look going on. But it's a very beautiful, shimmery, kind of grayish white right now. That's what you want. This is an excellent palette. I have no complaints about it. Okay, so now we're gonna start blending with this white. So slowly just move it in there. Okay. Blend. 
behind it. Try and get like a nice little little circle going on and then we'll buff it out later. Okay. Now we're going to go back in and we're gonna go back in with that black. And I learned this from Sambalina on YouTube to kind of just go back and forth between light and dark until you like it, until it looks good to you. You know, you don't have to do the black and the white in like a chronological order or anything like that. To feather this out, I like using this end of the brush, blend it in with my skin a little. All those edges, just wisp them out. Okay, once you get that to your liking, make sure that your brush doesn't have too much black on there. And with this palette, I'm going to use Dune. Okay, these are backwards on here. That is so annoying. I'm gonna use Dune, this, that, which is pretty much my skin tone. I mean, it's more peachy, but this is a very classic color that I see on Pamela this kind of peachy transition with her with her smoky eyes. So that's what we're gonna do. Kind of blend it out. Take a little bit of porcelain, which is that white one right here ah, with my finger. Give a little bit of a highlight there. Now, finish this off we're gonna do a waterline black waterline no makeup look from this time is complete without a tightening of the waterline next what you want to do is lashes I'm going to not I'm not gonna use lashes for this okay because the lashes that I have are ridiculous and they won't look good with this. Pamela usually did a pretty modest, uh, did pretty modest lashes. So I'm just literally going to just put some mascara on. Eyes are done. The hardest part is done. Next, we're just going to apply a little bit of concealer, especially since I look very puffy right now. Just a little bit if you want more, go ahead. Next is brows. Keep them thin. I may not be erasing my brows, but we are keeping the brows thin. So what I do is I like to brush them down. Brush them down and then take the spoolie and move it in a direction that looks good to you. She had very arched brows. So I'm going to try and mimic that as much as possible. Push the hairs down and then mold them into the line you want. Take a brown eyebrow pencil because that was generally the color that she used. I use taupe, which is a cooler tone. She always used like a warmer toned eyebrow pencil and just start at the front. We didn't do a fade out back then. Give a nice arched, almost like circular brow. Okay. No crazy arch, just a nice follow through, rounded brow. Okay. Next, we're gonna do blush. You want a nice pink blush. I do not like pink blush, but that's what you want. So load her up, blend it out as much as you can. Oh my God, this is so pink. Blend it out. Okay, next is lips. You want a nice pearly pink with a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to line my lips with this uh, chestnut color first, lightly.
and then go in with a nice like mid-tone pink so this this brown that you have here is uh it's meant to be like a shadow so go over it a little bit kind of make it look like your lips have that kind of contour to them uh, you don't want it to be like the center of attention. So try and like blend it in with your lipstick. Okay. Boop. I bought this Revlon lipstick for this because it had like a pearlescent sheen to it, but it sucks. I'm just going to go over top. Just to say I use this, I literally did nothing. Okay, and then for added flair, I'm gonna take my pearlescent dust here and I'm gonna add some of that extra pearliness to my lips, to the top and the bottom. Just blend it out. Okay, my camera is such a trooper right now, so I'm going to do my hair off camera and come back. I'm not gonna show you this side of my head because the updo was so perfect and I ruined it, but it looks good from this angle. So here's the full thing. I got my boobs pushed up and everything, even though I don't nearly have the same size breasts. You can tell my mirror is over here over there okay all right this was really fun to do i'm 